All right, you've ironed your two pocket halves. You've got your two pocket halves, two bag halves here. So, and Fred's trimmed off, which I will do. Been a bit busy and I'll sew along there later. Then you take, and this is where maths and accuracy is really important. You then think about where you're going to put it. But if you're doing two pockets, you must have the same, or one pocket, must have the same each side from the top. It's not as important to have it even at the bottom. And this is where the accuracy of cutting out. So if I measure that, it is five and a half centimetres, but it depends on how well you cut it. Put a pin there. Measure the other side and you do your other one if you're doing two pockets. So five and a half. It's nothing worse than having a bag that's not straight. Then we put that there. It doesn't matter at this stage if it's slightly uneven. And you can always tell students who have taught, listened, cut it and really taken care. That's the difference between your excellent students and your satisfactory students. Then I put the pins that way. One there, one there. Then I go one, one, two, three. And you do it, if you're doing two pockets, you do the same. Four. Seven diagonal. Yes, I have in the corner. So you always put it from the middle out, not this way, so that it sits flat. So automatically you sort of smooth it out and it must sit flat. Pinning at this stage is really important. Now, if they want to put a trim on their pocket like Michelle has on hers, they put it on the pocket before it puts it on, okay? Right? So if they want to do that, they put it on the pocket before it goes on. And I do have tape and ribbons and reflective, so you can do that. So I do two exactly like that. If they're doing one pocket, we just take the other side of this. If they've got a one that they prefer, say, I like that better than that, you put right sides together. So there's no stitching, you put right sides together and it's really important to match the tops. And again, I'm putting the pin at the right angles. The tops are the key. See how those straps match up? And they're not twisted. Then, when I've got the tops even, and if I had two pockets, the pockets would match. This design will give me one pocket on the outside. If I put the pocket on here, and it matches here, I'll have two pockets on the outside. If I wanted a pocket on the inside, right, I would, on the inside, I'd put one pocket here and one pocket there. So it's, this is the design feature. So you need to be aware. You can do one pocket like that, what I've been doing is I've been marking, and this is where the crease comes back into it again, if you can see it, or they can crease it again. I'm going to sew right down there before I put them together. Or they can do one pocket there, little one for their phone, and then a big pocket here. Or they can do it in three, but that's done before you join it together. So it's really quite simple. But you need to, any decoration that goes on your pocket like tape or bobbles or patch needs to be put on your pocket before you put it onto this piece. So when I've put two pieces together, again, match that. It's really important to get the tops right. And I haven't sewn my other top bit there yet, but I'll be, I will. Then, when that's right, make sure, if it's crumpled, you know how they crumple it up in their bags? It's really important to teach them to put it flat in their bag so they can get it in. I'm now going to pin right to left. 
1.5. I've got pins in here. You can leave them in or you can take, I leave them in particularly so it doesn't move till I get down the side here. 1.5. I always leave the one in there and the one in there. Then take that 1.5, turn it right to left I'm going so it fits in the machine. Take that pin out there and 1.5. Don't worry that this is uneven. It often is. What if it's uneven on the sides too? Doesn't matter as long as it's like 1.5. Shannon, I've got that pretty much right in there because I'm just going to trim that off once I've sewn it. I'm not going to sew it today until I've done other things to it. Because I might leave this in sections and put it as part of the board across the... So take that out, pin 1.5. And the trick is to make sure that they do this flat. And I actually get them to do it while I watch them do it and make sure, because if it's not flat, it makes life hard. Now, there's a pin in the pocket there. I leave that there. That's why the heads of the pins are in there. I always put it from the middle out. So they can't, if you put it the other way, they tend to sew over it and break the needle and break the pin. Can you just lift that up for the camera for sure? So there's your bag. When you're sewing it, can you please make sure you come here, go back and forth. You could do it more than twice because this is the real tension point. If they, some of them sew from there down, and so this falls apart and doesn't hold the materials. So it's back and forth, 1.5, cross there and up there. Then when I'm happy with it and they've got it right, I then just trim the threads off, even it up, and then we zigzag it all together. If you like, if they're going, you can reinforce it. If they're way ahead and you want something to stretch them or keep them occupied, you can put one row there, a straight stitching, then another row and then zigzag it to reinforce it. Then when it's zigzagged and it's tied all the threads up, I actually just, because it's thick, and that's why we've taken the pot, the wadding out of the pocket, because it's too thick for them, I actually cut the corners diagonally, not the stitching, and then I show them. It's magic, turn it in. And they go, oh. And then I get them to press it. And to pull these corners out, I show them how to do an unpicker very carefully pull the corners out. They won't get an exact thick square shape because of the thickness of it. But there's your bag. Two halves put together. Really easy.